Bosnian culture can be seen and felt um, in Charlotte more than it ever has been. There are, I would say, about 2,500, maybe 3,000 Bosnians in this region. Uh, and when I say region, I mean Charlotte, Gastonia, Salisbury, Lincoln. Uh, we are very organized. We form uh, institutions, organizations that uh, they display our heritage. So there is an organization that's called Bosnian, Bosnia Herzegovinian American Cultural Center. Uh, there is a religious organization. Uh, there are the presidents of two national organizations, Bosnian, are here in Charlotte. The Charlotte culture is very accepting of outsiders. Uh, they want the diversity, not just as, as an e e economic standpoint, but also from working for the city of Charlotte. They want the diversity, they want the culture, they want the different viewpoints. So one thing that I've noticed here is it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are, it, there is somebody that, they will accept you as you are. Being at Charlotte, is, has been a blessing. I know there are professors here that are from Bosnia, from Serbia, from Croatia, that they're all, it's a great support system. Um, I love the diversity here because anywhere I go, I can see people from Germany, Bosnia, Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, like I can see anyone and be able to talk to them about where they're from and get a really good overview of their life in the five minute span of conversation. I have worked over the years on um, probably for the last 15 years on, on several initiatives to increase the number of Bosnian students here at UNC Charlotte simply because I know how wonderful UNC Charlotte is. I, I know that they would be welcome here both in terms of American families but also a large number of Bosnian families here. But I also know that uh, it would be good for Bosnia because um, getting educated is always good for any country, any person, any individual who will, some of them may decide to go back and, and do something meaningful for Bosnia and make it a better place. I see Bosnian people all over campus. I mean, I'll see them wearing like the soccer kits. I know we qualified for the World Cup this past summer, so that was really exciting. Um, and it's, it's cool to see like a sense of pride in where you came from. The International Festival at UNC Charlotte has been a wonderful place where we could demonstrate who we are and, and ask people to try our food. Now the booth is probably one of the largest, it's probably one of the loudest. We dance, we sing, we have our food, chilapchichi, people like to try it. The community comes around to support it. There are all the tables, they love to sit down, they love the bars, sit down and, and, and get an order, a drink and the food and, and can, they can sit for five, six hours. Um, they will walk around uh, to see the rest of the booth, but they're gonna come back and uh, still enjoy that one the most. So it is a wonderful outlet. It is probably the best place to see and feel uh, this thing that we call Bosnian culture. The way I keep my Bosnian culture, it's really dear and close to my heart, is I participate in a Bosnian folk music group. I play the flute. I've been playing since seventh grade. Um, and there's a man that is really good friends with our family that plays the guitar. And we play old like old songs like really old traditional bosnian songs we also have a folk dancing group that performs every year at ifs for the past five or so years um i also my brother got me a, a soccer jersey when he was in bosnia this summer so i wear that on campus sometimes i see my bosnian friends i have class with a bosnian guy that i've never met before and we sit together share notes so it's really great it's seeing all the bosnians on campus really just helps keep our culture alive Food is really, really important to our culture, and in me personally, wherever I go internationally, I sample the food, because honestly, that's how you learn about other cultures. Here, what we do at the International Festival, it's called chivapi, which is these little beef sausages, they're about this big. Uh, lepina, which is kind of like a pita bread, it's just fluffier, and you get 10 sausages in the bread, you get some sour cream, you get some onions in there, you dip it in the, in the broth that comes out from the meat when it's cooked. You, it doesn't compare to anything. I have, I have American friends, a couple of them now who work for C, uh, the police department here in Charlotte, who every year have come to the International Festival since tasting the, uh, the chihuahuas. Every time there is a food competition or, or a, f a, pl a place or time to display your food, the culinary aspects of Bosnian culture, you will find Bosnians. Um, every time there is a music of some, fa of some kind of festival, you will find Bosnians uh, there as well. Charlotte is just full of opportunities. There's no better way to say that Diversity here has advanced everyone's growth. It's advanced the university's growth, and I hope that it continues to advance students' growth. I teach um, complex systems, and one of the tenets and basic premises of complex systems is that it is not about 
us, but it's about connections among us that makes anything worth living or any problem both interesting and, and, and solvable. And that every time you look at the person on the other side of that link, that interaction, if it's somebody just like you, you're not going to learn much. You're going to just reinforce what you know and who you are. But if it's a person who's different from you, you're not going to become, you will become a better person. You will know more. You will understand more. And the more you seek that kind of diversity, the better off not only you will be, but the place that you represent. Mm -hmm.